Hey everyone, I'm Jerry James Stone and I'm super excited because today's recipe is for a Meatless Monday recipe and those are always fun. So I'm gonna show you how to make this delicious baked gnocchi. It's gnocchi that's been baked with like this pasta sauce that's part cherry tomato and just regular tomato sauce and there's uh, some tempeh floating around there so it's high in protein. So it's like a nice complete meal, um, got some fresh basil, lots of tasty things. So let me get to showing you how to make it. But before I do that, oh, I forgot. So I have quite a few like pasta and saucy type recipes on my YouTube channel. Be sure to check out that playlist and check them out. Cause if you're looking for tasty things to eat, I got you covered. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, so we're gonna start off this meatless Monday recipe with uh, just by sauteing some chopped up onions, some diced onions here a little bit of olive oil. What we're gonna be doing is building up a marinara sauce for the uh, baked gnocchi. So I'm gonna start off with that. Just gonna saute them a bit just until they start to sweat a little bit and soften. Okay, those are looking pretty good. So now I'm gonna add in some fresh garlic. I'm just gonna saute this for about a minute. Don't want it to burn. I'm just doing this over a medium heat right now. That looks nice, so I'm gonna add in my cherry tomatoes. I'm using some heirloom cherry tomatoes here. You can use whatever you want, but we're just gonna saute these until they start to sear and break open. This is gonna be part of the base for the tomato sauce. I like these heirloom ones because they're so colorful, so it's just gonna add a really nice contrast visually. While the cherry tomatoes are cooking, we're gonna add some salt to some boiling water. It's always important to add your salt before adding your pasta. And then we're gonna add in our potato gnocchi. And we're gonna cook this just until the gnocchi floats on top. Okay, the gnocchi are starting to finish up there. Just so you know, never add oil to your water for pasta because it prevents the sauce from sticking and never strain it, just transfer it directly from the pot that's cooked in to the, whatever sauce you're gonna toss the pasta with. The water, which is starchy, actually creates, it bonds with the sauce, so it'll make whatever sauce you're using a little bit creamier. So this is ready. So we're gonna go ahead and take this out and put it into the pasta sauce once it's good. Okay, those are starting to look pretty good. You can kind of hear them sizzling, popping a little bit. They're starting to fall apart, as you can see here cook it down for a few more minutes. It smells so good, all the onion and garlic and tomato, yum. Okay, this is looking pretty good. So how I know that these are been cooked long enough, you can start to see the juices are forming around the individual tomatoes in here. So even though they're not all like popped open, there's enough of them that we, we're forming our sauce here. So this is, it's ready for the next level. I'm gonna add in some tomato paste, some tomato sauce. Now I'm gonna add in some tempeh, my secret ingredient. Tempeh is 100% plant-based protein. It's made from fermented soybeans, and I love adding it to uh, red sauces because it's just a really great way to sneak in protein to like whatever you're having. It kind of, you know, pasta is a very starchy, uh, meal, so it's just an easy way to sneak in protein and it makes the meal a lot more balanced. So I'm gonna add that in there. And I'm just gonna bring that to a boil. We let that cook for a few minutes, and now I'm gonna add in the gnocchi. As I mentioned, I'm not straining it. I'm adding it directly from the pot I boiled it in. I'm just gonna fold the gnocchi into the sauce, trying to evenly distribute it with the cherry tomatoes in there. Now it's almost ready to bake. Before I bake it, I'm gonna add in some fresh mozzarella balls. These are gonna melt and provide this delicious gooey, cheesy layer. So I'm gonna mix in about half of the mozzarella. So that way there's cheese kind of throughout the whole dish. And then place more of it on top get this baby to the oven. Okay, we're gonna bake this at 400 degrees for about 10 minutes, just until the cheese melts and it's all delicious. 
Okay, now that we baked it, we're just gonna top it off with some fresh basil. This is such a great dish. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. There you go. Easy baked gnocchi, right? It's so comforting. It's like delicious and I don't know, just feels like a nice cozy blanket. I think you're really gonna like this recipe. And once again, this is for Meatless Monday. If you like this recipe, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.